In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of Rockstar's canceled games. Now, we know Rockstar's as juggernauts in the gaming industry. For years now, they've delivered quality games that many try to replicate. Their stories and worlds are almost unmatched, and their experience is vast. But even with gaming giants, a lot of failures come or franchises that never made it to consumer hands. And today, we will take a look at this very topic involving the world-renowned Rockstar Games. And to those new here, this is a part two. Our part one covered Agent, Bully 2, and Spec Ops. You can find part one in the comments via a link. The first game that we're going to be covering on today's video is titled Z. Rockstar Games wanted to try something different after the release of Grand Theft Auto Vice City back in 2002. They wanted to dive into the world of zombies, and talk soon began on the possibility of Z. This zombie game would utilize Vice City's code, meaning it would feel familiar to those who were fans of GTA at the time. The game would take place on a Scottish foggy island, and there would be a big emphasis on fuel conservation and finding fuel for your vehicle. Apparently, the zombies would be coming at you nonstop, making it a nerve-wracking experience. All this information came from Rockstar's ex-technical director, Obi Vermage, via his blog. Now, Obi would go on to say in his blog that the reason behind the cancellation of Z was just that it was too depressing at the time, and it quickly ran out of fuel. I would assume for those at the top. After the cancellation, Rockstar would switch over to working on GTA San Andreas. Had Z never been canceled, we may have never gotten the version of San Andreas that we all know and love. And for game number two, we have We Are The Mods. We Are The Mods was a spiritual successor to Rockstar's The Warriors that was based on the movie that released in 1979. The mods was in development at Rockstar Toronto in 2006 and would see the story set in the 1960s and it would take place in England. It would follow the story that detailed the fights between the mods and the rockers. The mods and rockers were a young group made of two British subcultures that had a conflict with one another and would engage in public fights between the 50s and 60s. Now this game was never formally announced to the public, but a 2011 leak revealed many details on the game. It began as a PlayStation 2 game first, but halfway through development it was switched to the Xbox 360 as the new generation of consoles was well on its way. However, soon after this change, the game would be cancelled as a lot of the developers from Rockstar Toronto had to help with the development of the more profitable game, Manhunt. And for our third and final game today, we have Ani 2. Ani was a game developed by Bungie West before it went defunct in 2001. Ani 2 was a sequel to that game that Angel Studios began work on. Angel Studios would later become Rockstar San Diego, and much of this may sound familiar to you if you've watched my Retro Chamber series where we covered Ani 1 in much more detail. But apparently the game was in development for about two years, and a lot of this information is coming from a 2016 leak covered by Kotaku. The plot of Ani wasn't really written at the time of its cancellation. We just know that it would continue to take place in a cyberpunk atmosphere and improve on the game mechanics from the first game. Ani 2 was officially cancelled by Rockstar Games after Angel Studios was acquired by them. The cancellation was due to Rockstar wanting to focus on other projects, and Ani 2 also lacked direction. Even though it was in development for about two years, very little progress was made on the game. Now I will tell you this, I still believe that a Rockstar game set in a cyberpunk future world would be damn good, and I would love for Ani to get a proper reboot. Here we conclude part 2 of our cancelled Rockstar game series. Now I I'm not sure that I'll be able to make a part 3 as there isn't too much left besides cancelled DLCs for GTA games and LA Noir. But if you would like to see more, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can find. Thank you for joining me once again on this little look back of Rockstar's cancelled games. Now this was a topic that interested me due to the ongoing GTA 6 trailer craze. I've always loved Rockstar as a company and looking at some of the other games or franchises they had planned was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you're new, remember to like and subscribe as we're only just getting started.